Once you're done harvesting your dill, you want to take it in and get it washed. Just place it in a strainer and rinse it off with cool water. And you want to make sure that you leave it on the stems because we want to have it still on the stems even when we're drying it. So I'm just going to run some cool water over this and do it in batches so I can get it totally clean. I did want to mention one of the nice things about having an organic garden is that I know I can take our herbs, bring them in here, rinse them off, and I don't have to worry about trying to get any chemicals off of them. I'm just going to go ahead, finish getting this all wash, washed in batches, and then I'll lay it out to dry on a towel. So I let the dill drain in the strainer. Now I'm going to take it, just lay it out on some kitchen towels. You can use paper towels also. I'm just going to let it dry here for about 20 minutes just to remove some of the excess moisture before we put it into the dehydrator. You can just take another towel, just kind of pat them dry if you want to speed up the process. It's time to go ahead and start laying it into our dehydrator trays. And if yours has a liner, you want to go ahead and slip the liners into it. As you put it into the tray, you can go ahead and remove it from the bigger stalk. And it's fairly easy to pinch off. Just going to give you more room. You do want to make sure that you just have one layer so that it dries evenly. So this area here that's left over this you can just throw into your compost bin. There's really not much use for it. Once you have your tray full, go ahead and just grab another tray and keep filling up until you've got all of the dill that you harvested on trays. Once you have all of your trays filled, go ahead and put our lid on it and we can put it onto the dehydrator unit. I was able to fill five trays with the dill, got the lid on top and it is on the dehydrator unit. We're going to go ahead and turn the unit on. We're going to start with four hours. Dill can take anywhere from four to six hours to dehydrate and we're going to dehydrate it at 95 degrees. After four hours, I'll check on it and we'll see if it needs to go any longer than that. You want to always start on the lower end for time for any of your herbs. That way you don't over dry them and actually begin cooking them. We're at the two hour mark, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and check it. What we're looking for is the color of the herbs and also the moisture content, meaning how dry they feel. So this is still very green, very soft. So it still has a couple of hours to go. I'm gonna check the other trays and just make sure that it's drying evenly. The coloration looks the same from the top tray all the way to the bottom tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave them in the order they're at and allow it to continue to dry. The timer's gone off and the dehydrator has stopped, so we're going to open the trays up and make sure that it's completely dry. What we're checking for is to make sure that it's dry. As you can see, it's still a nice green, but it is completely dry and able to break apart. So what we'll do next is remove it from the stem and then crush it and store it. <laughs> 